my fellow friends of the cathodic channel this is a new video i will do it in english just for you know alternate some videos in italian and some videos in uh, english and here we are a sony a multiscan g520 this is a high-end crt monitor screen the G series were the professional one, like the, not the consumer, but the, the professional one. Uh, in, in this case, it's a 21 inches monitor. It was the really high end of the market. I think it's 131 kilohertz. It's like uh, 1536 progressive in 85 hertz. So very high resolution and very high refresh rate could do like 160 hertz too or maybe more i don't know but i think in english is better for this because i have a lot of people that just follow the channel abroad in foreign la in foreign um, countries and uh, they could be interested too about this kind of monitor the monitor itself uh, is uh, quite well preserved some some issue on the chassis here and there but i would say is okay uh, there is a little bit of you know cracking here but very little this is the back of the monitor two single vga ports and you can you can change the input directly in here so one and two and this is very nice it's very unique usually you have to go to the menu and then change the input stuff but here you have the button so you can directly switch the input the screen itself is very well preserved so no scratches nothing i would say it's it's a well it's good in general it's good but anyway i will restore it completely because the number of usage of hours of this monitor is quite low it's 8800 8, something like that so it's very good the the screen itself emits very 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 good so it's it's bright no problem with that but there is a lot of issues as you know with windows you can, you have to uh, calibrate all the monitor because the G2, G2 drives the the G2 uh, is overdriving and drifts and uh, all the colors are basically mostly on the red one uh, so there are shifting colors there are different uh, issues the the uh, the, the the raster itself changes when it's uh, uh, cold if you drive a signal in it uh, the raster just changes and the image shifts a little bit up and down until everything is warm up like after 20 minutes everything is fixed but you know this kind of monitor as i always say there is a, a big market for that uh, for those but don't spend at all more than 100 150 euros i paid this 130 or 140 euros uh, which is really the maximum uh, you should you should spend just because they have usually a lot of issues because a 25 inch 25 years monitor they are quite old and uh, they are very complex so if you want to use them safely you have to restore basically all of it okay so just go ahead we will open and i'm starting to restore internally and then i will restore with windows and then lastly i will restore the chassis okay let's proceed with the disassembly g520 June 2001 as you can see it's not really uh, you know clean we will see inside but I I already saw such a mess 
let's move on. I removed, sorry, the upper part of the cage. We can see now the tube, which is a Trinitron, like a high-end Trinitron made in Japan. And you can see, well, the storage wasn't really great, I would say, <laughs> but, but, I'm going to work it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cleaning service done. Now, as you can see, the chassis is basically perfect. Some little marks, but very little. But the color is perfect. The screen, I would say, is perfect. A little, 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 little bit of wear on the coating, but it's very, very little. When you see uh, on the monitor, you will not see absolutely anything. And it's absolutely normal for this because this has a very, very delicate uh, anti-glare coating uh, which it was very easily to scratch or to ruin because you have to use just the distillated water plus um, neutral soap like uh, like dishwasher soap or this stuff and um, i see i've seen a lot of them completely broken the, the anti-glare which you can remove actually but i think when it's like that uh, it's it's good to 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 keep that because uh, when it's on you will not uh, really see anything let's see behind and look at that now that the situation is so so different and very much improved actually everything is quite clean I remove basically all the dust and now you can actually see the components inside. So the first part of the job has done. Now we'll disassemble it. I will change some capacitors, uh, solderings, and then let's check it out how it will be. Okay, now job is done. So I replaced some capacitors and I resolder everything because there were some cold joints in, in soldering. I already tried it and now there is no more issue about shifting or everything. So everything is absolutely perfect. First of all, let's check the total number of usage that have this unit. Okay, sorry, there is a little bit of flickering, but we have the model, G520, serial number, manufacture date, 2001 version, and then this is the total amount of hours. It's 8,900.5. Let's go through and I'm going to Windows it. Okay, guys, now we are in Windows XP and Windows. This is Windows. Already selected the, the model G520. Now I'm going to uh, save the, the data, the default data, so we can be sure that everything is happening from now on will be saved before that and so the, the the standard profile and firmware is saved is securely saved this is very very important before doing everything just do that so file save data to load okay i already done one as you can see, G25 default one. I'm going to do the other one, G25 de default two. Okay. Then we click save. And we are in the second monitor. 
the bar as you can see on the LCD let's click go monitor switch off be very careful to do that with the second monitor you can do also with, with the, the, the with only one monitor the default monitor the Sony one but you will not see anything above the black screen because as always happens on the Sony's I understood that it just switch off to save the current default uh, uh, default um, firmware from the apron to the PC now finished and it switch on automatically from now I'm going to do the Windows procedure as always you can see I'm going to do the all presets so preparation alignment uh, and etc and of course with my spider I'm going to calibrate the monitor exactly with this with the spider and with the HC of air program just a very very quick look to the Windows procedure here and the color accuracy calibration as you can see in AC of R I just reach basically the perfection to all the higher ray from 10 to 100 so I'm quite satisfied okay before showing you the total restoration after Windows and the calibration software I wanted to show you the aesthetical part as you can see I totally renew it you now the plastic shines it is really really good now basically not brand new of course but it's absolutely gorgeous how is the aesthetical looking of this monitor now and the plastic is really 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 in great shape now okay job as done so calibration and windows has been done now the monitor looks absolutely stunning now you can see I'm using actually this resolution which is 4040 per 1080 at 120 interlaced but I can I can use it to very different uh, refresh rates as you can see now if we go to the menu we have 70 kHz 120 Hz contrast is contrast is 55 and brightness is 41 because I, I'm, I'm using a special uh, a special tuning made by myself but now the monitor is perfect the color temperature I'm using is 9300 Kelvin and uh, it, it's amazing the focus the contrast everything is absolutely amazing it's really 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 bright very dark the black no more air whatsoever and look at the at the grill 
it's perfect the convergence is perfect everything is absolutely amazing really really gamma contrast look at here linearity and convergence I made it through and it's absolutely gorgeous and now I'm using this monitor since different uh, uh, resolution I'm using also in 90 60 160 Hertz always interlaced and it's perfect well everything is perfect everything is great so now we just renew and restore this amazing monitor if you have any question whatsoever I'm here